Well, Gabby and Nigel, we actually spoke to the woman who says she was the one left alone and restrained in that Motel 6 room. She was actually arrested last night for possession of meth after being released from the hospital. We caught up with her outside the Greenville County Detention Center today. Law enforcement officers tracked her down at the hotel after investigating videos that were sent out showing her being bound and gagged. Jessica Johnston says a man she doesn't know injected her with what she believes was meth, and that's why she was incoherent when police found her. And she says all she remembers is that a man who was wearing a ski mask hit her while she was in her motel room, which is where she was living temporarily. I just wanted somebody to come save me and nobody could save me. But the police got there. Two hours later, I guess. I don't know when they got there. I don't remember anything until yesterday when I came out of the hospital. They're still trying to figure out what happened. I really don't even care no more. They're, they're, they're I just want to move on with life. Like, I'm leaving in Greenville. Don't you want them to find the person who tied you up, or, or what? They, they're never going to find them. Why not? It's, they'll never find them. It's, it's a drug deal going by, that's all I'm going to say. And we also want to point out that Simpsonville police could not verify the identity of the woman who was found bound and gagged because she's considered a victim in this case. Tonight, they're still trying to figure out exactly what happened. Coming up tonight at 6, we'll tell you what Jessica says she believes was the point of those videos that were sent out. Nigel?